How's it going guys? So right now I wanted to talk about this The Last of Us Part 2. There's basically a preview going on and uh, one of the people actually had an experience and the time to play this game as a preview. Well perhaps maybe not to play but let's just get in. It's coming from the ogn.theonion.com. Links down below for you to read it if you would like to as well. But I'm gonna get into it right now. Here's an article. Also, this comes from the Neil Druckmann due to the fact that he has uh, shared this article in his own Twitter. And so, yes, it's more or less is definitely legitable. So, this is how it begins. A clicker leaps across a pile of bricks and rumble as the pounding rain blacks out the world beyond the narrow alley. A man crawls away in terror, slowly approaching the camera. As he calls for help, his hand presses against the window blood smearing as he begs for someone to do something. We move back throughout the glass and into the apartment, and suddenly the blinds are drawn down. A candle is lit and worn copy to the kill, a mockingbird appears in front of us. That's when we see Ellie's face for the first time. I'm prompt to tap X to turn the page, as she sips a cup of tea and sinks into her couch. As the man screams and pounds on the glass and, and increasing the desperation. I'm tempted to get up and help, but I already know one wrong move could destroy Ellie's wellness meter and send her trump, uh, tumbling into the negativity of the spiral, so I'll hold back. There are just the first five minutes of my short hands on with The Last of Us Part 2, and I'm already hungry for more. The Last of Us uh, was one of the defining games of the last decade. It's a story of gruff, of violent Joel escorting a young girl named Ellie across the plague-ravaged country was considered a, a breakthrough in the narrative gaming. And I watched the sequel's stunning new gameplay of characters jogging along uh, scenic trails and building birdhouses. It's clear Naughty Dog is not content to rest on its laurels. The Last of Us Part 2 is an intent of taking another leap forward by dropping all combat gameplay and exploring Ellie's inner growth as she ex accepts that she can't change or control the infected around her, and focuses on self-care by relaxing on a beach and taking an enriching beginner pottery class. Story is basis of everything we do. And this time around we knew we wanted to help Ellie show her strength by becoming more mindful of the energy she projecting and breaking free of her crippling need to please other people by saving them from the infected, said game director Neil Druckmann, who I spoke with after the demo about what was informing the move from stealth-driven horror gameplay to the lighter, more straightforward action of managing Ellie's uh, breathing during a yoga class. It's a bit of a departure, but we feel like spending 3 hours of the game t a time gathering fresh wild ramps and cooking with the ancient grains is part of the Ellie's jor personal journey. The people in the infected towns, she can't fix all their problems. She needs to have a healthy relationship with herself after doing so much emotional labor caring about uh, people's dying around her. During the few hours I spent playing The Last of Us Part 2, I got to see how Naughty Dog was blown out the world and really expanded the different strategies available to the player. After witnessing a bombing attack by the fireflies that kills and maims dozens of civilians, I had the option to close my eyes and meditate, run uh, to see my therapist or seek comfort by spending time playing in the yard with my dog. With each choice I made, Ellie was able to cultivate a different level of inner harmony by getting in touch with her own desire instead of focusing on desire of others for medical care or someone to put them out of their misery. Most interesting of the new element introducing is the RPG-like aura of the system, which is a branching series of self-affirmation and care routines that the player can unlock by making healthy, empowering choices in the world. In The Last of Us Part 2, Ellie needs to learn to say no to the people and enforce boundaries. A well-timed push of the R1 button will interrupt an NPC warning you about the upcoming chemical attack and tell them this isn't your battle. 
Otherwise, you can get sucked into their toxic desire and cure the uh, cordyceptin infections. As you learn, Ellie can change other people's ne negative tendencies. You access higher level uh, of their wellness abilities, including the mindfulness exercises and landscape painting. These suffering people just drain Ellie's spirit, and she needs to fight their emotional black blackmail of always saying, I'm so hungry, or save my child. In part 2, energy vampires are just as dan dangerous as the bullets or zombies were in the first game, explained Drugman. We didn't just want to do the same thing again. We wanted to expand on the characters' moments that made The Last of Us great. And we think it will be amazing for the players to watch Ellie flourish as she pickles carrots and Dagon's uh, radishes for homemade Banh Mi sandwich. The quarantine zone governments are out of her control, toppling them in is not her responsibility. And uh, through Endro <coughs> And through that self-discovery and a positive attitude, she becomes a light in the other people's lives. While I all only played uh, one small chapter, Dogman told me players can expect at least 30 to, four hour, 30 to 40 hours of Ellie's growth as a studio sculptures and working on her relationship with her girlfriend, which will play out over the several hour long conversations about the commitment and respecting each other's other journeys with the branching dialogue trees. He also detailed the crafting system, which is a much larger, more important focus this time around. With the Ellie able to construct flower uh, bouquets and wick, uh, wicker baskets from the items she scavenges instead of Molotov cocktails. Although we will have to wait until later this year to see the whole thing. It was hard not to be impressed by the ambition we saw or the incredible detail Naughty Dog has packed into The Last of Us Part 2. Drakman revealed that they recorded 120 hours of motion capture alone just to get a precise movement of the Ellie's planks, uh, Settlers of Cat uh, Catan in her weekly board game club. It was amazing to see Ellie's uh, vegetable garden or the subtle finger um, of the impressions on the clay pot she was forming rendered in the brilliant 4K. This is certainly the most anticipated game of 2019 and we cannot wait to see or wait to spend more time with Ellie, seeing her come alive, leaving the toxic world of battling the infected behind and becoming a woman she was always meant to be. Well, that's pretty... it's... it's more of a po poetry, so to say, and I have gotten a lot of information out of it. Number one, it seems like that the story is going to be, a, well, as it says, at least 30 to, four hour, 30 to 40 hours. They didn't exactly mention as this, is, as this is going to be a full story length, but I think that this is the indication that we pretty much will be uh, getting The Last of Us Part 2 story 30 to 40 hours length. This is not one thing. They have, have actually recorded and revealed that they recorded uh, 120 hours of the motion capture alone just to get a precise movements of the Ellie's playing and her weekly board game club. That means that they put a lot of time and effort into this game, well obviously. Now this is also another thing, that this is certainly the most anticipated game, and now here's the big thing, 2019. Could this be mean that The Last of Us Part 2 will be coming out in 2019? I mean this is not out of the ordinary due to the fact that they have already finished up with the motion captures and stuff um, like a couple well, a week ago, weeks ago or so. So it's not out of the ordinary due to the fact because they can, might need not a couple of months, six months let's say, and that's when they can really release the game. Could this be that this game might even come out in November, December, maybe next year, extremely early next year, you know, in January, February, whatever? As it seems like as this is a preview from somebody who already had a chance to play it, and uh, this is a big thing. This is awesome. As it, gets, as it goes on, I personally cannot wait and see how this will be going about. I'm actually also very surprised due to the fact that not many people are picking up on this. There's already a lot of stuff in, has been presented in here. Number one, that this is already 30 to 40 hours possibility of being a story length game. Number two, the most importantly, that this is, might be coming out in 2019 in fact. I don't want to say this is a confirmation, but perhaps. Perhaps. 
Anyway, well, tell me down in the comments what do you think. Am I just, you know, overthinking this a little bit too much? Are you excited for it as well? I personally, I cannot wait to find out more. This is definitely looking like it's going to be going with a different approach of what we would be expecting from The Last of Us. And I mean, I do want to have a story and I do want to experience such a single player driven experience. And that's awesome. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys later. Have an awesome day and yeah, have a good one.